So all the places you could have went on All-Star break and you come back here, that says a lot about your feelings toward Marquette. I love it. You know, got to come back home, got to represent, got to, you know, I was excited. You know, I was disappointed not to be a part of the All-Star weekend, but excited that I got to see, you know, my high school team play. And now I get to see Marquette play. Are you surprised at how the Golden Eagles have played so well this season? No, I'm not surprised. Um, they should be doing better. You know, their record should be uh, better than what it is. But, you know, Buzz is going to have those guys working hard. They're going to be fighting every night. You know, they can compete. And they got a lot of talent. What's the biggest thing you learned from Buzz Williams at Marquette? Be ready for everything and prepare yourself just to, to, to have a chance. You know, work hard when no one else is working. And, you know, be ready whenever your name is called. And, and like I said, just give yourself a chance every day. Now we're taping this before the game. Your friend Lazar is moving up that scoring list. Uh, he's probably going to get you tonight. Any feelings on that? I'm happy for him. I mean, there's no animosity at all. I mean, that's, that's what's going to happen, you know. He's, he's, he could uh, catch Jarrell. And uh, I'm happy for him. And he's just, you know, adding on to his legacy that, that he created here. We know you've been so successful with the Jazz. For a moment, take us back to draft night. Did you think you were going to be drafted? You know, I, I got a great agent and agency with Lance Young and Octagon, and uh, he told me on draft day to, you know, just relax. You know, I was like, what are you thinking? He's like, I think, you know, you got a good chance of being drafted. I think you got a good chance of not being drafted. But whatever happens after that night, we're going to get on the phones and uh, we're going to make something happen. You know, if you're not drafted, if you are drafted, we – we gonna, you know, start negotiating and try to do what it is that goes along with being drafted. And I wasn't drafted. And I mean, that night I knew I was in summer league with the Utah Jazz. So everything happened quick. You know, I was disappointed, but everything happens for a reason. Why did you select Utah from the outside? People might think, whoa, that's a good team. His chances wouldn't be as good. But obviously you and your agent knew more. Yeah, well, I mean, they, um, our agent, agency, and, uh, you know, they have a lot of relations. And uh, they got a great relationship with Utah and Utah, you know, was pretty high on me coming out of the draft. And, you know, I actually thought that's where I was going to go. And um, they still felt high, highly of me. And, um, you know, it was a funny draft. If, I mean, if you watch it or remember it, so things kind of fell out of place. But um, they still liked me enough to, to invite me in the summer league and then in training camp. You have done so well for them. You've started a lot of games. You're playing for a winning team. Just kind of summarize for the Marquette fans what this year has been like for you. It's been a roller coaster. You know, it's, it's, a, it's been a year of just being, being ready, staying humble, staying hungry. You know, everything that Marquette is. You know, it's kind of I feel like I'm living it right now. You know, going for your dream, going for everything, but not being satisfied with it. You know, I, I made it in the NBA, guaranteed contract, but I still want more. You know, I started a couple games. I still want more. I want to start every game. You know, I want to play every game. I want, I want all of it, and, and I'm going to work, you know, to do that. How do you compare Coach Sloan with Coach Buzz? They're both tough. You know, they're both tough coaches. Um, they both uh, demand the most out of their players. They both care about their players, and they both love winning. And for the Marquette players that are still in the program, what's your advice for them? Listen. Listen to the coach. Um, listen to each other. Trust each other. Because, I mean, at the end of the day, um, the end of the day, coaches, the coaches never got a rebound for me. You know, coaches never stole the ball for me. You know, it's always, you know, the teammates. And, um, and it's just, just believe in each other and work. You're going to get a huge ovation here tonight. Uh, you always had a special bond with the fans of Marquette. What does that feel like? It feels great. You know, I mean, this is like my second home. You know, they welcome me ever since I said no to Wisconsin and yes to here. And uh, it's been open arms, and it's a, it's a love-love relationship. I, I appreciate them more than they ever know. I appreciate it very much, the time. Continued success with the Jazz. Thank you very much.